2nd of April 2014. Okay, this lab labradoodle had very smelly ears. So the owner brings it in, brings her in for treatment. Earlier on, a groomer had treated and cleaned the ears, but uh, the problem is not solved. Now, many of these floppy ear dogs is covered up, so there's no ventilation. And in addition, this dog has hairy ears. So all the water, all the water and uh, and moisture is deep inside the ear since the there is no ventilation and no drainage due to covering up of this uh, opening so the solution is to plug up the ear hairs regularly is the one solution and so that uh, so that the debris and dirt will be removed and of course plucking the ear hairs this this can be done by the groomer but uh, it's not so easy when the dog is not uh, sedated so the, the other solution is a ear surgery called lateral ear resection whereby this vertical canal this vertical canal is cut cut away this one then uh, open up the ear so that uh, there is no more trapping of the dirt inside the vertical canal and uh, this is recommended when the problem is very bad Then now I'm doing now I'm plucking up the ear hairs first the dog has been sedated so uh, now the sedation of course there's always a risk so it's not that you have to sedate the dog till, till she is uh, knocked out because we don't know the risk involved. Sometimes the dog reacts to anesthetic and dies. So I give the minimum sedation. You might see some movement. This is a dormitor plus ketamine at the 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 IM. And that's what, about 10 minutes ago. Now, to solve the problem, I will, I will pluck the ear hairs and then uh, I will irrigate the ears. After that, the owner will have to maintain the ears herself or, with, or the groomer would, would do it. But most owners, what they do is they just pour ear drops into the ear and hope for the best. But actually in floppy ear dogs, because it's covered up, so the more, the more ear lotion you pour in, if it's not drained, then it comes to this situation where it's very uh, smelly because of the ulceration inside the ears due to dampness. And after that, it gets worse and worse. So, so you come to this stage where there's blood as well. This reddish brown thing is blood actually. And, uh, and uh, as you can see, I think the, the ear has is, is a contributing factor to this uh, problem of uh, otitis external, we call it. Now, obviously, it won't be so easy to pluck the ear hairs if the dog is not sedated because it's painful. And uh, I did recommend the lateral ear canal resection where the vertical wall is cut out is cut out and uh, is thrown away and then you open up the canal so any, any uh, liquid will be flushed out and uh, that, that is the solution for this dog but of course the owner will be uh, most owners will be most worried when they hear about surgery so in other words uh, most dogs would be just going to the groomer to get the hair plug and and wash the ear wash but there is not a long term solution for hairy ear dogs hairy ear you see the hairs are so so deep inside the vertical ear canal and uh, and it grows again after you pluck it you see so 
So there's no uh, permanent solution. The permanent solution is to uh, ear surgery to open up, open up the canal so that even the ear has wouldn't be a problem since there's drainage from this side. Once this lateral wall is cut off, they wouldn't trap, wouldn't trap the the water. Okay, now I'm not going to irrigate the ears. Okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. come this side, come this side. Maybe you should do the ear irrigation. And uh, the ear irrigation, don't put the camera so close because yep. of, the, of the water splashing. Don't, don't just zoom in, do it. Anyways, zoom far away. Now, of course, it's easy to irrigate when, when the dog is asleep. Oscillated, but uh, in, in practice, it would have been difficult for the groomer to do it early on. So, uh, once I remove all the blood and dirt inside the ear and give a painkiller and antibiotics, the owner can maintain it by using ear drops three times a week and making sure no water goes in, no water goes inside the ear. Otherwise, uh, same, same smell and bleeding will occur again. Now the dog is waking up because a lot of time has been wasted on, on preparing for this uh, irrigation and talking to the interns. Okay, so this one is finished. Now I'll do the other ear, the other side. Normally the best time to do is 5 minutes. 5 minutes after the sedation, 5 to 10, but now it's already about 20 minutes actually. So you can see that the dog is moving a bit. So the, my, my, my explanation is for not topping up the dose is that sometimes in this young dog, this is only a puppy, 5 months old, that is gross. It, it might get uh, depression and die. So you can see a lot of blood and blood clot and dirt coming out. And the dog is is still sedated but not not knocked up fully. And uh, I know many animal lovers will say that uh, it is cruel, but anesthetic has high risk. So if it's not necessary to uh, to uh, top up, it's best not to. As uh, some some dogs do die after topping up due to uh, the reaction to anesthetic. Although the dosage might be between the formula, <laughs> the dosage might be between the formula and uh, now. Yeah, now the dog is already awake. I'm, I'm finishing soon. Yeah. Wait, come, come, come. Just don't focus on here. Why? We haven't finished yet. There's a bit more. And uh, don't need to bring the camera so close because of the water splashing. Let, let go of your hand. This is, the, this is the wrong ear. Actually, this is the ear. Okay. Which one ear? This is the one or this one? No, it's this one. Yeah. So, uh, most of the dirt has come out earlier on. I flush about 10 times per year, 20cc of uh, plain water. We start to look and dissect it sometimes. And uh, then we will continue at home with the ear drops and maintenance by the groomer. Now the best is not to put powder in. Now some groomers put powder in and that worsens the situation because the powder will just cock up the horizontal canal. Now there's a strange uh, tattoo here. Although the dog not sterilized. Maybe the breed the breeder tattoos the dog. Okay it's, it's uh, finished already so then I uh, will give the injection. Okay. Wait, wait, I'll give the injection. 
着きました。Oh my god。They will complete the, the this uh, tu tu tutorial case study. Uh, okay. okay.